QH12, Briggs and Stratton 13.5 XR, doing an oil change at three hours and adding Maxon Performance from Amazon. I think it's, uh, let's see, seven inch. I'm gonna try one fan, see if that'll get me where I need to be. I used a uh, paint, paint roller pan to catch the oil. And then I transferred it into that. I don't know what kind of oil they use, but it doesn't look like it's very good quality. Some black, looks like a little bit of glitter, metal shavings in there. So yeah, this is only three hours. It's really dirty. Got the back cover off. Took the floor pan off. I've run some wire, some 12 gauge stranded wire crimped on a connector this is going to be the hot for the fan and put it on that battery post right there I decided to put the fan right about here so we'll get some airflow over the hydraulic pump little pump right there and also the cooling fins on the head This is going to be the ground wire for the fan. And there's a disconnect switch, electrical disconnect. This breaks the circuit for your ground. So this one goes to the battery, or comes from the battery. So that's always ground. So you want to go on this side, the right side of that switch, when you activate it. That connects circuit, that breaks the circuit. Cover, this is probably the hardest part of the job. Put the fan there, marked around it with a Sharpie. Oh, we got some bolts in here already. And then hacked at it with an angle grinder. Can okay, see this is the inside, it's still marked. I didn't use that inside bolt hole. This fan came with ears that you can attach, so you get four quarter inch bolts in it, put the nuts on the back side. Alright, wired up, see how it goes. Oh, also, show you guys this. To fill the oil, it's easier with the cover off, but the cover's not that easy to take off. So if you do have it off, I just get a, it's actually a motorcycle funnel. I usually use it on dirt bikes and motorcycles, but it fits in there pretty good. Uh, I put a paper towel down there just in case, get a little spillage. And it only takes about a quart of oil, 30, 32 ounces. I added about that, it still looked a little short on the dipstick, so I'm going to top it off. Get it where it needs to be.
probably can't see it, but it's up to the fill line, not over it. Okay, so I'm getting ready to put the cover back on. Got the fan mounted on the left side exterior. Quarter inch by inch and a half bolts. Nuts and lock washers on the back. Bolts are pretty long, probably could have got away with some some one inch. Snug it up. And one more thing I'm gonna do to try to minimize the inside of this engine compartment from getting too hot is put this aluminized heat shield over the cage. And hopefully it'll direct some of the hot air from this from this area where the tailpipe comes out. So let me cut this, see if I can bend something that fits over here. Alright, I'm just fumbling around trying to bend and fit this heat shield in. Um one thing to watch for, I'm trying to get it close at the bottom because the fan's going to be blowing across and the air intake is right here and I don't want to funnel too much hot air from the exhaust right into the intake here. It's better to draw in cool air. So this stuff's cutting and bending pretty easy, Just cutting it with scissors. Cut the seam right here, fold that in, fold this over the top, and then we'll see how it looks after that. Okay, I got the heat shield cut and bent around there. It's not pretty. Uh, yeah, that is baling wire holding it on. Use the uh, pity pretty pink scissors to cut it shouldn't make too much noise should stay yeah the throttle linkage runs close to it I had to there's a spring on the back side I bent. Just bent that aluminum. It's real easy. Shape it how you want. Bent it around the, the spring for the throttle. Alright, let's get it back together. Okay, got the cover on. Still gotta put bolts in it. 12 volt 80 watt radiator fan. The black lead coming out of the fan is hot, and this one goes to the ground, which goes to this disconnect. If you wire it backwards, then the fan will spin backwards. So if you had it mounted inside, if you didn't want it hanging out, you could try to find room inside and exhaust out for a cleaner look but this is the way I went so we'll see get that piggybacked I did not put a 10 amp inline fuse I would have liked to but I didn't feel like buying one and I'm too lazy uh, also if you're feeling froggy there's no inline fuse going from the positive terminal to 
probably can't see up in there. Right there, that's the starter solenoid. So if something would happen, if you would accidentally reverse the leads, you would fry that solenoid. Don't want to do that. If there was a fuse there, it would pop. I'll have to tidy up these wires, get them out of the way so they don't accidentally get caught up. All right. The bolts for the cover, most of them are down. You just follow that bolt line all the way around. In the back, it's right there. And then there's also can't really see them in there, but if you reach in here, this bolts to that. And then up top, you got a couple. You'll have to look up top too if you're not getting it off. Okay. Got her all sealed up. Moment of truth. Keep you updated. Might do a hydraulic oil cooler next.